everybody this is Sithi readings and hi Libra how are you guys doing let's see what messages are going to show up for you Libra in case this reading resonates with you Libra there will be a link in the description box to the extended for you Avenger hmm desire to balance the scales of justice right, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself these are two cards so this is very much like your own energy okay and then we have here beggar confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival awakens the spiritual authority of humility compassion and self-esteem i feel like libra this is a time to confront somebody okay or yourself i feel like it's more personal than anything else okay i do feel like this is a time for you to have a look at your life and see where things need to be brought into balance and you have to do the right thing even if doing the right thing seems hard okay you have to make the correct choice even if that is a tough choice to make okay i feel like some of you were giving too much of your power away to somebody else um and then it left you feeling very alone and dissatisfied okay this is telling you to take a step back from that situation because you have more authority over it than you think you do but at the same time having compassion for yourself because if you're going to keep thinking like this this is going to mess up your self-esteem okay Give me one more card for Libra. Victim. Mm, light attribute pre prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. Um, you have to break free from a situation that makes you feel stuck, Libra, mentally, emotionally, physically. But I feel like this is a situation that you had, you know, you were dependent on it in some way. But that is going away slowly, one day at a time, that energy of dependence. You know, both of these cards are very similar in essence, where these are talking about self-pity or you know feeling bad for yourself in regards to a particular situation. And you know, you don't really need to. We have mentor, passion on wisdom and refining students character. Mm, is there somebody Libra you can call your mentor? Okay, is there somebody you look up to? Or are there aspects in yourself in your personality that you would like to cultivate that you feel like you're missing at the present moment? Um, but this is really talking about somebody you can look up to. It could be a character. It could be literally a mentor. It could be a, a, a book that you read that really inspires you, an author. You know, what is it that you can connect yourself with at a soul level that can provide you with that guidance? And this has also a lot to do with self-improvement. Um, this is some sort of character development, Libra coming out of the victim mentality so all of these cards are really talking about something you need to consider where you need to take your power back for some of you i do see travel plans um maybe a little change in your environment can bring a change in your perspective as well The Sun card, one of the happiest cards in the deck. I'm optimistic and I appreci appreciate all that I have. So there's so much for you to appreciate. There's so much for you to look forward to, Libra. Um, especially this Leo season, okay? There's a sense of optimism here. Some of you may have recently decided to walk away from a certain person. Two of Wands. 
So this is a time period for you to be making decisions, Libra. Decisions about where you're headed in your life, what changes you can make, okay? Um, really considering your long-term plans here as well. I focus on what I want and I make it happen. So this is a time for you to focus on what you want rather than what you don't want. That in itself is also an energy shift, okay? Um, Two of Cups, Empress, Three of Wands. Libra, love is coming your way, okay? I'm worthy of the deepest kind of love. Wow. With the Three of Wands and the Empress, this is 3-3. Three, three. I create what I choose naturally with joy and I have the energy to realize my goals. This is a time for you um, also figure out your long-term goals, Libra. okay what are your long-term goals goals that can help you grow as a person attract more abundance i heard make a list some of you maybe like to keep a journal or make lists of things it's time for you to make that list libra about your goals what you can do to get there and instead of being like, oh, this is something I may not be able to do, you have to you have to approach it like this is something I am going to do or I'm at least, you know, I'm going to do whatever I can to take part in this. There is love coming your way, by the way, with the Two of Cups energy. It's going to happen sooner than you think. This is soulmate energy, Page of Pentacles. There was communication between you and somebody in the past, but you may have felt like... This came, you know, it, it kind of got stuck. Things got stuck, Four of Cups. You're still feeling dissatisfied with the Fool card, the Page of Swords. Uh, some, mm, okay. Six of Wands. In your hopes, Strength card, hoping to s separate yourself from something that tests your patience. Outcome from the reading, Ten of Swords, heavy ending here, but the truth is going to set you free. You know, this is like, despite the fact that this is a heavy ending, I want to see what the truth is. And, you know, I'm willing to see the truth. Ace of Cups, endings, br ending brings a new beginning for you. With the lovers, <laughs> I knew it. What beautiful cards here for you, Libra. Your challenge here is the judgment card. And your advice here is the moon. I feel like your your emotions and your feelings are telling you things that you're maybe not really listening to. This is a person from the past. Bottom of the deck is Eight of Cups energy. I accept my situation without resistance. Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups, Hermit. Ooh. I also see you doing something you're really passionate about, Libra, and that bringing you a lot of happiness. But this is a time for you to really follow your own path. There's a lot of healing that is taking place. The Hermit comes in as a guide. Gui it's providing you with guidance, if that makes sense. Okay. And I feel like a lot of you also have impersonal guidance. Like, you know what to do. Okay. Some of you are feeling a little scatterbrained. But whatever is confusing you, your approach towards it is like, okay, I'm going to walk away or temporarily withdraw from this. You're accepting something the way it is. And you're choosing to withdraw from a situation. Now, one thing I see here, Libra, with the Page of Pentacles. With the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Swords is that there is somebody in the past you were connecting with. But it just looks like this person was coming in with a little bit of a negative energy. Okay. Um, I don't know if they were playing mind games with you or what they were doing. Yeah, but there was something here that made you feel like this person's ego was surely getting in the way of the connection. Okay. This is a time for you to follow your heart, your intuition with the Fool card, wanting to move forward towards a new beginning, okay? A lot of you are in this energy where you want to start something fresh. You're, you're feeling ready for a fresh start in your life. 
for growth in your life. You know, this is like you're getting to a point of like, I'm tired of being sad or pessimistic about things. Now I'm wanting to focus on the positive aspects of things. That is great. So whoever, like whoever or an external energy here is the six of wands, victory and success at something. So there's some sort of a good news coming your way or victory and success. This is also a card of getting attention from people or feeling very good about yourself for some, some sort of a work that you have done. Okay, so there's some sort of victory or a good news coming your way, Libra. Some of you could be on social media or this good news could be surrounding your business. Um, yeah queen of pentacles so in your hopes is the strength card here um i think um a lot of you are striving to become more strong emotionally as well where you're able to handle things differently than before but with more maturity um and being there for yourself strength card here is strength of character and having the strength and courage within yourself to also say no to certain things because here you opened yourself up to somebody, but then you felt like they were playing games. Your future energy is ten of swords, um, accepting the truth, even if it's really hard, so that you can move forward and open yourself up to a new beginning. I welcome new love and trust what it brings. So I want you to affirm, I am open to new beginnings that are coming my way. I let go. I let go of resistance and I'm open to new beginnings that are coming my way. That is your affirmation, Libra. Because the next month or the next couple of months for you are all new beginnings. Okay? Things that you're able to manifest and cultivate for yourself. Okay? These energies are so beautiful, right? Your future energies are so beautiful, in fact. Look at that, the lovers, the Ace of Cups here. I trust my knowing and make a commitment. Somebody is coming towards you who's serious about you, Libra, with the Ace of Cups and the lovers being here. This looks like a new beginning in love that you may not be seeing coming because your energy is in the Four of Cups right now, which is like, oh i don't know what to do or i don't know if this is gonna work for me you know but the ace of cups is also being transformed into the two of cups right there so i definitely feel like there's a new beginning for you okay so that's nice and a choice judgment moon having compassion for the choices that you're making are you looking back at something and beating yourself up over it like oh i could have done this i could have done that how can i be so stupid or this that and the other the judgment with the moon is calling in for more compassion for yourself your emotions um okay and being there for yourself you're transforming there's no need to revisit something especially if it's painful libra the advice for you is to trust your intuition your intuition is a great guide here, which is something I picked up on earlier as well with your Oracle messages, that there's something here in regards to your intuition that you tend to ignore. So if you really notice, we have the sun and the moon card together. So it's a, it's a lot about what is being revealed to you and what is being hidden from you. It's about the shadow side and what is being illuminated together that is bringing a sense of balance that is where your energy comes in the justice card from tarot right B being able to balance being able to make a rational decision your intuition is really a great guide here if you pay attention to it and i feel like there is something libra that you're trying to figure out but you feel like it's hard to figure out okay
Give me one more card. I go forward with confidence. And this one says, I'm my own anchor. This is telling you to trust yourself, Libra, and keep moving forward. This is really an energy of you being open in your heart, in your, in your, in your heart chakra, so that you're able to attract an energy that matches your vibration. Some of you are lacking confidence to pursue something. Whoever you're connecting with, Queen of Cups is their energy. Now, do you see that? The King and the Queen of Cups is together, Libra. So you and this person are divine counterparts. Divine counterparts. But right now, there's separation between you and them. You guys are turning your back to one another. There's also an energy of mirroring one another, okay? With the Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, they're going to be back. Look at this, Six of Pentacles. They're wanting to bring peace and harmony into the situation. Six, six. I feel like this person is trying to make a decision. You also have the lovers in your outcome. So yes, this is somebody who's going to try to fix the situation with you. They're going to be very sweet towards you as well. And I feel like these are the memories, Libra. The memories that are bringing them back to you. Okay. And the Queen of Cups. This person loves you. They love you, Libra. And if you guys are going to start this over this time, I feel like there needs to be, like, the boundaries needs to be clear. The boundaries should be clear on both ends. Um, what a lovely reading, Libra. I really, really enjoyed reading for you guys today. Hit the like button if you did too. Now I'm going to pull some cards for your pause person and your new person okay so this is your pause person's energy libra Ooh. <laughs> this is their feelings for you this is their future actions i feel the need to pull one more for their future actions if you're dealing with somebody new or interested in a new person, then this is your new person's energy, their feelings for you, and actions they plan on taking. This is your overall outcome in your love life, Libra, and your advice. Your overall energy in your love situation is the Seven of Cups here, which represents options in love. Um, I feel like you're somebody very grounded, stable in your energy. You could be attracting a Virgo or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think here you're going to have choices in love, Libra. That is something that is evidently showing up. But okay, that's about it, Libra. Those were the messages that showed up for you today. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And check out the link in the description box to the extended for your past person, new person's reading. And along with that, I'm also going to be picking out cards for your blessings and challenges for your general life. So do have a look. It will be linked below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.